Okay, everyone can hear me. Uh, uh, I'd like to thank Paul and David uh, for indulging me in giving a, a sales pitch for the allocation programs here at ALCF. My name is uh, Nick Romero. I'm a staff scientist here at the Argonne Leadership Computing Facility. I've been here for um, almost six years. How many of you have heard of the leadership computing facilities? Just a raise of hand, okay, so a few of you. Um, the leadership computing facilities were uh, born out of the 2004 DOE High-End Computing Revitalization Act. Um, the, the goal of it was to enable high-impact science that can only be done with computational resources that were 10, 10 to 100 times uh, larger than was available at other resources at the time. Some of you may be familiar with computing resources such as NERSC. Uh, we are, uh, uh, we, our, our mission is to enable science that can be done at a scale of roughly 10 times larger than what can be done at NERSC. There are two centers that exist. Uh, one of them is here at Argonne, the other one is at Oak Ridge. Uh, this is intentional to enable uh, diversities, uh, diverse architectures to support the different, comp uh, uh, the broadest possible set of um, uh, uh, computations, uh, algorithms, um, et cetera. You've been mostly using Vesta. Uh, I'm going to just go down the list here. The, our 10 petaflop production resource. Uh, this supports our uh, two major programs, Insight and ALCC, which uh, I'll, I'll mention in the next slide. Is, is Mira has 48 racks. Each uh, one rack is defined to be 1,024 nodes. Uh, there are 16,000 cores uh, uh, in, in one rack. The total system has three quarters of a million cores and roughly three million hardware threads. Uh, we have CETUS, which is attached to Mira, um, that uh, is intended to support uh, low, medium, medi low to medium scale debugging. We just upgraded CETUS from a, a one rack system to a four rack system. And then um, the third blue gene queue, the smallest of the three, is Vesta, which is what you've been um, uh, using this week. And it's intended uh, for smaller scale projects, for training and outreach. And then we also have a uh, Tuki, which is a x86 system, also attached to Mira and CETUS, attached in the sense of the file system uh, to enable visualization. And we, and we have over uh, roughly 30 petabytes of, uh, of workspace on the system. So the three allocation programs, I'll spend a lot of time on this slide, is uh, so we take the entire time that's available on the machine and we divide it into three pools, Insight, ALCC, and Director's Discretionary. Unfortunately, the calls for both Insight and ALCC, uh, they've uh, already passed. The Director's Discretionary is always available, and I'll talk about that in uh, more detail uh, shortly. But the difference between the programs is uh, uh, while they're both intended Insight and ALCC to be high risk, high payoff science, the, the computational um, readiness of the two programs is, is distinct. So uh, for Insight, we, we anticipate that our users will have a high level of computational readiness, meaning that they have a workload that will scale to at least 20% uh, on the machine, um, roughly. And on Mira, 20% is for 130,000 cores. So we expect that most of the workload under Insight is going to be using 20% on the machine. Under ALCC, the, the readiness is, um, is, more, is more open. So if you have um, a, a smaller workload, ALCC, uh, it is a, maybe an appropriate program for you to investigate. And then the director's discretionary is for people who are just starting, uh, either they just want to give or re 
give our resources a try. Uh, they're trying to have a, a, a code that's never been scaled on a Bluejean queue before, and they just need access to it. Because we have a lot of members in the, uh, of the international community here, I'll, I'll, I'll mention one thing that's not on this slide. So Insight is open to the in, uh, entire um, international community. There, there's a, um, uh, a, a, a few exceptions, but for ALCC, uh, the uh, one very important distinguishing point is uh, the ALCC program is uh, uh, intended for people who are primarily uh, doing science that's along, aligned with uh, uh, DOD's interests. And the, the requirement is that the lead PI uh, has to be at a, a US institution. So I'll, I'll mention that. And then the durations of these programs are different. Insight is one to three years, ALCC is one year, and then the director's discretionary allocations typically a much shorter uh, three months, six months to, uh, to a year. If there are any questions, just Sadas. Yes. The technical side, is that her project or prototype? Because here it says five billion core hours, you can add them up. Oh, right, right. So these are the. Uh, um, uh, oh, oh, okay. Um, so the. Um, so the, are you talking about these so numbers the versus numbers. these? Yes. So, th so this is a range. So open. Um, so I think. I think this number here is should be the entire program, uh, uh, and uh, the typical size. Uh, so if you're an insight, sort of the low end of hours you should be asking for is uh, 50 million. People frequently ask for up to 500 million. ALCC, the, the smallest allocation is 10 million. Uh, this year we have somebody with uh, almost half a billion core hours in ALCC. And then the director's discretionary allocation, um, uh, they tend to be on the small size because they're uh, starter allocations. They tend to be, uh, if you ask for a million hours, it's not really a big deal. Uh, they're typically not intended to do um, a, a, a science project from beginning to end. There are exceptions, um, but uh, you, it is possible to get 10 million uh, 10 million core hours out of the director's discretionary allocation. Yeah. We also support a uh, diversity of science in the insight program. Uh, when you go back to your universities, please mention us to your colleagues and other departments. Uh, it's not just about electronic structure. We have people simulating cement, earthquakes. Um, we have a lot of computational fluid dynamics in the insight program. A lot of uh, cosmology, uh, lattice QCD. We also support, uh, this is just a sample of some of the community codes that we support. Uh, a, this is a little heavy loaded towards atom, the atomistic space because of the audience, but uh, there's a lot of people using lamps and, and then uh, QMC pack too. If, if you're interested in applying for a director's discretionary allocation, go to our, um, go to our main webpage and click on getting started and all the way here at the bottom there's a director's discretionary allocation and there's a form that's, uh, it's hard to read here, I, I tried to blow it up as much as I could, but you put your, you know, your institution name, a lot of boilerplate information like your, your contact information and then a description of the project uh, this doesn't have to, this just needs to be a couple of paragraphs, but I, I want to put out an invitation to uh, all the participants of this workshop. If you are interested in exploring QMC PEC for your science, uh, don't hesitate to talk to me or anyone else from the facility or uh, anyone that's on the machine here, and uh, uh, we'll give, we can give you some guidance. And uh, if if you, uh, uh, in terms of, God, uh, I really like Paul's talk with how to, how to come up with a, uh, things to think about before you uh, plunge into Quantum Monte Carlo. So uh, keep that in mind. But if you reach the point where you, th you think you wanna explore doing some um, Quantum Monte Carlo calculations, uh, I encourage you to apply. Please mention 
uh, that you attended this QMC training program. And uh, we're very fortunate to have uh, a QMC expert here, a Q QMC PAC expert uh, on site here, Anwar Benali, and he can uh, help you uh, with any of the computational issues that you may encounter while running on the machine. Uh, just some acknowledgments um, to people who pay the bills, Oscar, and most of these slides are uh, borrowed from many of my colleagues here. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be around today. Also, we have a lot of uh, useful information on our, on our website. Thank you very much.